Today, we're gonna to show you how to completely remove glare from glasses in Photoshop. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're gonna to show you the brand new way of removing glasses from glare. We're gonna use a little AI, but we're bringing in the oldie but goodie clone stamp tool. It's so important because we don't always wanna just create like new facial features using AI, but clone stamp is a really good way to do this as well. So we're gonna show you how to copy basically one side of a person's face to another side of a person's face and get this perfectly glare removed. So jumping in, you can see we got a lot we're dealing with and we're gonna remove all of this glare in our photograph today. Now you can see here, we've got some glare and this is like underneath this, like we have a lot of facial features here. We don't necessarily want to cover up. So all this stuff like with his eye, you don't want to use AI for that stuff. Now this little thing in the corner, just like that little stuff, you can totally use AI for that. So we're going to start there. We're going to go ahead and grab our selection brush tool. Let's go over here to the selection brush tool. We're gonna zoom in and just basically paint right over these little areas. You know, this isn't a big deal to use AI for this stuff because this is just like over top of his eyebrow. Honestly, it's gonna do just a pretty good job. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let's click on generative fill and then just click here right on generate. It's gonna generate and give us a few different options, which we always love. Options are great. Yes, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Now let's see what we've got, a few different options. And you can see it's just like different, slightly different eyebrows. That sort of thing is just not that big of a deal if it's slightly different looking eyebrow, but you don't wanna go around changing people's eyes, right? Like that's, that's where it gets to be a big deal. Now in this, you can see we have this area on one side of the glasses and on the other side of the glasses, it's clean from distractions. So that's what we're gonna do, is gonna copy from one side to the other. And I find when I'm reducing glare, or removing glare, that's a lot of the time, that's gonna be the case. It's like one eye is good in one place, the other eye is good in another place. We're gonna use our clone stamp tool, swap them around, mix them up, make it right. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's create a new layer. You can click on your new layer icon here. We're gonna hit S for the clone stamp tool. Because I'm on a new layer just right here, just make sure this says to sample your current and below layer. Fantastic. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold Alt or Option to sample this eye over here. Just hold Alt or Option over there. And then you can see I have a little preview here. We're just gonna kind of paint it in right over on that eye there. And you can make this a little bit larger than you need and use the layer mask. Okay, I'm gonna hit the V key to bring up my move tool and I can move this around. Now, keep in mind, I gotta flip this around, right? Like <laughs> the other eye, so. We gotta flip it. We're gonna hit Control or Command T, and then here in your contextual taskbar, we're gonna flip this horizontally just like that and hit Enter. If you don't see your contextual taskbar, no big deal. Just go to Window and then down to Contextual Taskbar. Make sure that's turned on. Okay, so now I can kind of move this around and make sure it's in about the right place. And I'm kind of like bringing it with the other eye and things like that. That looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So. A thing you can do is you can lower your opacity of this layer and then really just make sure, okay, is it in the right place? But another thing that you can do here is you can see this, maybe you want this part to come down. You can hit Control or Command T for transform and then you can right click on this and go to where it says warp, okay? Or you can click this icon, which is warp. Let's click on warp here. And now I can just simply take this and bring this down a little bit. Look at that and how it just warped perfectly to kind of like blend in and fit with the other eye, right? Because I don't need this here. I just want to make sure that this part fit. How cool is that, right? I just warped it. So let's see that checkbox up there. We're going to bring our opacity all the way back up to 100% on there. And then I can just use my layer mask. So we're going to click on this layer. I'm going to hold Alt. Uh, actually, we just click on the layer mask. So click on this layer. Go ahead and click here on your layer mask icon. There we go. And I'm gonna hit B for my brush tool. And then I'm gonna just paint black with my brush tool right over here. And we're just gonna get that to fade right in. And then I don't want it to cover our actual, like the actual eye. It was just the little bit of glare in the glasses that we wanted to cover, okay? But we're keeping the original eye. So basically, look at that. Like that's just like from the other eye that we just brought over. And I think it looks really, really good. So. Everything looks really good in terms of the glare. You know what, I'm gonna hit Control or Command T. We're just gonna bring our little control point there and we're just gonna stretch this up just a little bit so that the, uh, there we go. I did that a little bit too much. Just so that the, um, the eyebrow kind of matches. 
There we go. And we can even use our layer mask to just kind of like layer mask that in just a little bit there. Okay. Now, if you do, if you're getting it like mostly there and it's like looks really good, but there's still like a small area that like you just can't seem to blend just like that, that's no big deal. You can still grab, don't forget, you can grab your selection brush tool and you can just do like little areas at a time with generative fill. We just don't want to go like, you know, replacing someone's whole eye because, well, I'll just show you what happens when you do that. It's just going to make someone else's, it's going to make a new eye that doesn't even look like that person. You don't want to do that, right? But like a tiny little area like that, if you need to do a blend, you know, just do like that. It's going to be okay. But like, look, if I just like tried to replace this person's whole eye and then click on generative fill and then click on generate, it's like, you know, it might make an eye, but, uh, you know, it's AI and it's, Ooh, results are always like, yeah, it's like, sure. But like, that's not that guy's eye. It's a similar ish looking eye, but it, it that doesn't like look like the same person, right? So you never, ever, ever want to do that. Okay, now we got two more areas we want to take care of. Actually three more areas. So like this area right down here, okay, we got a glare, but on this other side, we're looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and take we're going to start from this area and re let's re replace that. So again, we're going to use our clone stamp tool, right? So create a new layer. You can see I already have a bunch of layers. That's totally okay. Every time you're making a new change, just make a new layer. Okay. As for the clone stamp tool, let's go ahead and sample over here and I'm going to paint over here. Okay. Paint just a little bit more information than what you think you need. You can always layer mask it out. Okay. So I'm just like literally painting over there. So this like, that's what I have. Okay. Use your move tool, move it around. Next, Control Command T for transform, and we're just gonna go right here, boop, flip that horizontally. Let's lower your opacity of your layer just a little bit, and you can kind of just get this to like line up, right? And I just want it to line up, you know, where it's like the other eye is, and like the creases and all that other stuff, you know? We just want it to like basically just like look like the other eye. Here we go, and hit enter. Let's bring our opacity back up to 100. I'm gonna just put a layer mask on there, okay? And then we're gonna paint black on our layer mask right over here. There we go. And just get this to kind of like fade back together again. There we go. Fantastic. And then let's make sure we paint away there because we want the original eye, right? We're like literally just trying to bring in the bottom of the eye. And I can still move this around and be like, okay, you know what, actually that looked a little bit better. You can hit Control or Command T and rotate this around if you need to. You can do all kinds of stuff here. But basically, the idea is we're just copying from one side of the face to the other. And then it's actually the guy's face, you know? Okay, let's do the same thing over here. Let's hold Alt or Option. So Clone Stamp Tool, we're going to hold Alt or Option right here. And then just paint an area, you know, right over there. You just paint it wherever you want because we're going to transform it. So control or command T for transform. We're flip that horizontally, hit enter, lower our opacity just a little bit. And then we're just gonna move this into place there. Okay, and again, you don't have to move it to the exact right place, it's okay. Bring our opacity all the way up to 100. I'm gonna hold Alt or Option to put a black layer mask on there. And then we're just gonna paint white right here on this layer mask. And look at this, it's just using the other side of this same person's face. So we don't have to do any kind of like crazy weird trickery you know we're not using any like super advanced tools this is literally like the clone stamp tool and we're copying from one side of the face over to the other side of the face and it's it works like pretty much every time all right new layer and we're going to just do the same thing s for the clone stamp tool we're going to sample right over there control command t right click flip that horizontal which is way down to the bottom i just like to use this here Flip horizontal, move that right up there. Perfect. Let's hold Alt or Option and put a black layer mask on there. And then we're just gonna paint this visible here. So you can see, I definitely still use some AI stuff, you know, like it's 2025. Like, you know, use the tools that we have available to us. But, you know, like sometimes you just need to use like some manual tools to like really get that job done. And it's just gonna look a little bit better. And then I could even clone stamp um, I'm going to bring my flow to like, whoa, what did I do now? <laughs> clone stamp tool. I'm going to bring my flow to like 20% and make my brush a little softer. And then I'll just kind of clone stamp a little bit of his eyebrow back there where I want some more eyebrow. 
there we go and just kind of blend all this together and then this is looking really good we'll bring my flow up to about 10 percent there we go make a soft edge brush and just kind of like fade it all back together and we are looking really really great let's just kind of lighten that area up just a little bit because it was just a little bit dark um there we go and fantastic my man you're looking good this is all his original eyes so let's go ahead and just group all these layers together there's the before and the after we removed a lot now the other thing is if you wanted to get rid of this glare like right in here in his eyes just grab your clone stamp tool and make your brush like super small and then clone stamp from right over there okay just grab 100 percent opacity and just clone stamp like right in here and just remove this little stuff too you little things like that you can keep but you can just clone stamp this little stuff too as for the clone stamp tool just make sure right up here it says current and below hold alt or option to sample and then just kind of paint this in okay there we go you can use some ai if you really need to but the clone stamp tool this is just going to be such a reliable tool and it's going to allow you to actually like copy the real person's face and just give you really really is really realistic great results let's just turn that off and on that before and after that's a lot of glare and we were able to get rid of all of it just using a couple simple tools if i can do it you can do it too thanks so much for watching by the way you can download this sample image and this psd totally for free just click on the link right down below so you can poke it around and you can follow along with exactly what we did today. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up. Let me know in a comment right down below what you'd like to learn next. We make our videos based on your requests. So let us know and we'll do our best to make those videos. And if you want to learn even more advanced Photoshop and photography and Lightroom, check out Learn Pro. We have an exclusive discount for you right down below. It's over 15 years of advanced tutorials. All right, thanks so much and I'll learn you later. Bye, everyone.